and effectively. If they learn actively, if they are engaged in learning actively and effectively, it means uh, instructional objectives can be accomplished or there would be the environment in which teacher can accomplish, teacher can teacher can realize, teacher can achieve to the instructional objectives he has set in the beginning. One more thing, we know teaching learning goes in a specific time. We know each course, each program has its specific courses. So, that learning should take place in certain time only. So, it is like to accomplish instructional objectives in proper time and with available resources efficiently. If resources are used properly, if they are used efficiently, definitely instructional objectives would be can be accomplished in time. But for that again, that environment created by the teacher is more important. Now see, next is next is need for classroom management. Why do we need classroom management? Although when we talk of uh, definitions. It has been already sensed why classroom management is to be there. But again, just to focus more on the uh, on uh, need for classroom management, here are certain points. First one is why classroom management is needed to encourage students for desired behavior. See, all these points, all these key areas, all these uh, aspects will again help in proper classroom man, uh, classroom environment and once environment is positive classroom learning or students will start learning more effectively for that need is that teachers should encourage students for desired behavior second is to create positive environment for learning here teacher has to create positive environment when we talk of positive where everybody like to learn where everybody like to interact, where everyone like to have some contribution, where everyone enjoy that process. So, teacher has to create such environment or that positive environment in which learning can take place. So, first thing was why do we need classroom management? So, that desired behavior can be seen, can be occurred from student side. Second is if positive environment is there or uh, th then, then what will happen once positive environment is there entire purpose of our teaching learning would suffice would comply. So, second is create positive environment for learning and then see again I will just repeat that in classroom it is not that teacher has to deal with material he has to deal with leaving human resource and when we talk of human resource human resource is something that requires repo in between then only communication will take place then only what will happen what teacher wants can be can be shared to learners maybe teacher may go in class and out of even uh, without uh, desire of learners he may speak uh, or he may teach whatever he has come with but if students are not ready if they do not respond learning will not take place and when will they be ready again the question is that for that teacher has to create inter uh, relationship between himself between uh, there should be proper relationship between teacher and student if there is appropriate relationship what will happen teacher will enjoy the process and learners would also enjoy the process they would feel safe to ask question they would feel safe to raise their doubts and what will happen finally if environment becomes such where there is uh, if where you know teacher and learners are uh, 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 their frequency has uh, been there they are they are uh, they are there for uh, that uh, purpose then learning will take place so third point was establishing relationship between teacher and students but remember when we talk of relationship relationship means that repo between teacher and learners then to maximize effective learning time now see certain fixed time has been given suppose 60 minutes 55 minutes 2 hours 1 and half hour that hour is the only hour that is available with the teacher 
if teacher wastes it or if it is wasted in in discipline of students what will happen effective learning time would automatically be shortened so if classroom is not managed properly what will happen maybe that time may be reduced because that time uh, suppose out of that 50 or 60 minutes if 15 minutes are wasted for uh, you know managing discipline in classroom what will happen same content is to be covered in 45 minutes and then obviously there is doubt whether it would be possible or not so classroom management is needed so that effective learning time can be increased or maximum effective learning can time can be given to learners for what this entire process is next is to make students active learner see learning is something that comes we might have heard various researches findings of the researches and researches say whenever someone do, does something he or she learns something if he doesn't do something he may learn by listening by viewing and all that but that that uh, ratio of learning would be less so what is required here teacher uh, uh, classroom management is required so that proper environment may support learner to become active learner in class then if classroom is managed properly what will happen it will reduce the disciplinary problems because once classroom environment is proper learning is taking place what will happen naturally if learning is taking place other aspects that may come in fact if learning is not taking place will not enter in class in general and what will happen that will reduce disciplinary problems because students themselves are busy now in learning so how can they uh, how can they uh, uh, miss probability of their misbehavior would definitely be reduced and lastly to accomplish instructional objectives this is last one this is first one too because we start with instructional objectives planning instructional objectives and we end with accomplishing instructional objectives so if as a teacher we want to accomplish our instructional objectives at the end of the class we need to manage class in proper way now see there are teachers who teach in such a way that students do not feel they feel light students feel light even teacher feels light it does not become a process in which students uh, feel that they are cursed they are where are they and uh, they do not look at watch they do not see their watches they do not plan to run from there what they think they, they forget the element of time they are simply engaged in the classroom in such a way that they become what teacher wants let them to become and on the other side you might be knowing we might have seen teachers they are such they speak they order they they uh, they instruct but then hardly anything or learning does not take place the way it takes place in certain class uh, in certain teachers class and that for that reason we might have seen we students might be generally saying that teacher is good teacher and this teacher is not and they plan accordingly now here i will discuss about two approaches of classroom management one is autocratic approach and another one is democratic approach what is autocratic approach when teacher is like when teacher uh, goes with autocratic approach what happens he simply dictates things and he thinks that i am the authority what i say is to be followed that's all so teacher's approach would be like he is he is the person he has to rule whatever he says students have to listen it on the other side if we talk what would be the state of students simply what they have to do they have to obey what teacher has said so in autocratic uh, approach what would be there teacher dictates and students obey so teacher is in the center and that curriculum is in the center with what curriculum with what content with what syllabus with what teaching points teacher has come in the class teacher will come in the class he'll he'll behave like an autocrat he will uh, he will just he would be taskmaster he will teach in such a way that he will 
come in class he will speak he will he will instruct he will teach the way he wants but he will not allow students to enter in so that teaching in fact that teaching is for learning of learners and if learners are kept shut if learners are not allowed then how will they perceive that understanding so third uh, one more point is like it is the teacher in autocratic approach teacher dictates students obey and entire class remains uh, that teacher centered and curriculum centered and it is not a constructive classroom environment if things go in that way and students become passive learners what will happen as students are not allowed to speak anything much students are not allowed to ask anything much students are not allowed to uh, give their opinions give, share their feelings share their understanding so finally what will happen they will become passive and once students become passive it means learning will start diminishing declining and if that process will go a little longer fine what will happen learners would be in the would be in the state where they may stop learning at all so this approach makes learners passive and as we just discussed if they are learner if they are they, they, sorry if they are passive it means they have little opportunity for self learning because what is there teacher is there whatever teacher speaks we have to listen that we have to write that and we have to prepare that then scope for that becomes like prescriptive teaching bus what we have to do yes do this 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 is the meaning this is the definition these are the points you just try you just remember and you have to remember because your teacher has taught like autocratic autocratic teacher uh, autocratic approach teacher expect in that way so scope for self learning constructive learning is really very little then if students do not obey the teacher what will happen autocratic teacher believes in punishing learners he say he he believes in such a, he 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 believes that my teaching will go only if classroom is part in particular way in particular way in the sense each and every student should sit like an idol in classroom fine so in autocratic approach teacher doesn't hesitate to punish students or to change their behavior or to control their behavior and that's why it is called as it is a prescriptive approach than the constructive one time is gone when prescriptive approach will work uh, will do work now now it is the time for constructive approach it is the time we know what do as a teacher what do we teach we take from certain books or even if we are we are a scholar we are very good teacher we as a teacher i may teach you certain things but will that be will that be healthy enough will that be good enough what 50 40 30 100 students can suggest can think on so teacher might have consulted two books three books five books 10 books and his experience but if he if he can take proper use can pro take use of experience of learners even thinking their ideas if he can incorporate them if he can infuse them if you can uh, if he can uh, inject them back in learners through classroom uh, teaching learning what will happen classroom would be more effective and learning would be better but autocratic teacher teacher is hardly bothered about all these things and autocratic teacher believes that a well managed class see auto that a well managed class is a quiet class and when quiet class is there it means class is better one but it is not in fact when we deal with human being we need to go in such a way that learners remain active but the most serious limitation of autocratic approach is learners do not remain they do not remain active so this approach is hardly or rarely suggestible as a teacher we should not use this approach another approach is democratic approach what is democratic when we talk of democratic approach it means it enhances see what happens in democratic approach again what we were thinking earlier rapo between teacher and student learning desire of learners level of motivation of learners all that will enhance in this thing 
so what is democrat uh, what is there in democratic approach it enhances the motivation of students students remain motivated in classroom they are not an object over there they are live human being and here they would like to participate in all and each and every activity of classroom so in this approach motivation of students is on peak they want to learn we know uh, the law of readiness now democratic in democratic approach teacher was not bothered about readiness of learners if learner is not ready how will that learning power how will that learning enter in that learner but in democratic approach obviously scope for learning is more because learners are democratic they want to learn they want to participate in fact they enjoy learning when approach is democratic so students are allowed to participate more in classroom activities and it helps to reduce behavioral issues too because what is again there if learners are actively learning again their mind would be engaged in positive things in learning and once their mind is engaged in learning what will happen they will not be their mind will not work on the other side other side means in creating mischiefs or or uh, motive that uh, uh, or, or not in uh, brain, uh, that, i mean uh, if they will not create mischief means there won't be any uh, issues of discipline so point is in democratic approach scope is there for participation from learner side and because of that behavioral issues of learners do also reduce because they are active learner they are constantly busy with learning only and here it because approach is democratic one because learners are learning self discipline would be automatically there because entire process is going in human way not in autocratic way here in democratic approach students are allowed to voice their perspective when i say voice their perspective means students can answer students can raise students can speak from their perspective what they think in that particular about that particular aspect and it is respected by staff too means democratic teacher always respects always if i say would be bit more but generally respect